Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 12th video of Windows Server 2012 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure Hyper-V server on Windows Server 2012 or Windows Server 2012 R2. So let's have some idea about my demo environment. So in my demo environment I am using two virtual machines. The first one is Win2K12 R2 DC01 which is my Active Directory domain server if you want to check out here is my active directory server win2k12 r2 dc01 what i have installed i have installed active directory dns and dscp role on this server so on the next i have one virtual machine which is called win2k12 r2 srv01 which is joined to my domain which is my domain name is victor infosol if you want to check out here is my server Win2K12 R2SRV01 Join to my domain Vector InfoSol Here is my server Win2K12 R2SRV01 Join to my domain Vector InfoSol And I have not installed any role any feature yet on this server So let's see few pre-requirements of installing Hyper-V So the first thing is Hyper-V introduced in 64-bit operating system only So we have must 64-bit processor and the second thing we need like Intel virtualization or AMD virtualization thing which is basically hardware hard uh, which is basically enabled on hardware so we need VT VT enabled processor and VT enable enabled hardware like motherboard these things and the second thing is third one is hardware uh, enforced data execution prevention DPM must be enabled so these things the DPM need to be enabled in BIOS of the server so these things are required before installing the uh, like Hyper-V Hyper-V role so what I have done if you want to enable these things you need to go to BIOS of the server but r r currently the, th the server which are coming from like IBM any any vendor those are uh, like you can say uh, VT enabled virtualization technology enabled and they have already DPM enabled but if you getting any error message before installing the Hyper-V you can go to BIOS and enable these things so in my server I'm using uh, a VMware so I have enabled both thing if you want to check out like I, you can go to here and in the processor you can see I have enabled the virtualization technologies and there are a few more things which is required in VMware so I did before so let's do one thing let's inst start the installation for Hyper-V so I'm going to click on manage add role and features click next role based and feature based installation click next and here is our server Win2K12 SRV01 so click next and I'm going to select Hyper-V add feature and if you pass the every pre-requirement which is discussed earlier you will got the screen like this and you can click on next button and on the feature page you don't need to select anything just click next next and if you want you can allocate this network adapter right away for the like using the virtual switch in, uh, in Hyper-V but I'm going to do this later on so just click next next and this is like default stores so I'm going to leave this for now I'm going to confirm these things setting change these setting after the installation so we have done these things we are going to install Hyper-V and roll for the Hyper-V management PowerShell and UI tools so click on install so it will install the Hyper-V so before doing this I want to go create one folder like under the D drive we have one disk Hyper-V disk on this disk I'm going to select create one drive folder Hyper-V data you can see you can only say like Hyper-V so it 
this you can verify you are going to create the things so installation is started on our server so it will take few minutes to get the installation done and after the installation done you need to reboot your Hyper-V server so once the server is come it will apply like few changes on your hardware platform which enable you like to run the Hyper-V or virtual machine on Hyper-V so you can see installation is started so the installation is completed as restart is pending so I'm going to click on close and you can see from management restart pending I'm going to restart my server so so I have restarted it's working on feature 27 percent completed so it will take some time and uh, and most of the time it requires two reboots after installing the Hyper-V so you can say restarting so the server is rebooted So it's still working on features. So it's rebooting one more time. Okay, so so it's it, Hyper-V required two reboot during the Hyper-V installations. So the server is rebooting now. So getting windows ready. Applying computer settings. So we are finally at the login screen and hit control to Dell to login um, I'm going to put my password here It's launching the server manager now. So here we are on the dashboard. 
dashboard you can see on left we have a hyper manager installed and from the server role and feature you can also see hyper versions so I'm going to launch the hyper manager management console from here hyper v manager and we have our hyper v server selected here you can see we are connected with this and so I'm going to do some basic stuff here like I'm going to create uh, you can say the first hyper v setting I'm going to define the path by default it is goes to like a uh, virtual hard disk and virtual machines both are going to uh, use in uh, C drive so I'm going to move these from C drive to my D drive which is I have created Hyper-V folder so I am going to use this and for the hard disk and the for the virtual machine both paste it and click apply <coughs> so now you can see here on a drive we have a Hyper-V the Hyper-V we are going to use this path and for the like from the Hyper-V settings we are done with these set basic setting and I'm going to create now virtual switch so what we have we have only one NIC connected with this server you can see we have only one NIC and if you want to create multiple if you have like you can say mm, I'm going to create one external network to bind my physical network with my uh, Hyper-V guest machine so we have if we have only one NIC you you are able to see only one NIC if you have multiple NICs you are able to see so I'm going for the demo purpose only I'm going to add one more like you can say one more NIC here so going to network adapter I click next I'm going to use bridge and click OK so it will going to add one more NIC here it will take some time to install the NIC you can see it's installing the NIC and we have now two NIC adapters so what I'm going to use I'm going to dedicate my second NIC for like you can say for uh, uh, for virtual machines so I'm going to use virtual switch and click next and I'm going to define my second one and I'm going to remove this allow management operating system to share this network because I'm I want this network to be used only for my virtual machines so okay, I'm going to select this and apply so the Hyper-V will connect to the server by using the uh, like you can say the first NIC which we have the first NIC and the hype uh, we are going to connect with this this NIC which we have already IP address configured and the second thing if we have selected like uh, we need to troubleshoot internal error what will switch to refresh so I have not changed anything I just applied once again and it's we are done with this and now if you go to virtual switch manager here you can see we have vSwitch which is binded to has to NIC and we have not checked the allow management network to be used this net this network adapter and now you can see we have one NIC which is connected with like you can say our physical network and one is connected to virtual switch so we are done with this and if you go uh, so we have created the switch we have done the basic setting and now we can go create a new virtual machine so you can go from here 
virtual machines click next and like I'm going to create one machine for Windows 7 so I'm going to put here Windows 7 VM click next I'm going to use the first gen generation one and I'm going to assign 2 GPF RAM so 2048 click next I'm going to use my V switch to connect this server click next and I'm going to use like 127 GB is ok for me so click next and I'm going to install the operating system so for my you can say physical drive so I'm going to mount Windows 7 media in my physical physical drive 7 client Windows 7 open so I have mounted the Windows 7 install installation media in my DVD drive click next and click on finish so it's creating the machine it's creating the disk and everything so close this one close network adapter setting so if you go here V drive we can see we have our disk and under the virtual machine we have our virtual machine so now I'm going to on setting and I'm going to like add few add mm, uh, like add few more processor here so I'm going to run this machine with two processors and click OK and now I can click on connect and power on the machine and now our virtual machine is started and running on Hyper-V which we have installed and configured right away so just wait for a few more seconds you can see here the installation is going on so this is all about the Hyper-V installation and configuration and so please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any suggestion related to my videos you can post me on my given mail id and please watch next videos related to hyper-v where i am going to so you like hyper-v migrations hyper-v virtual machine import export hyper-v virtual machines backup these things so thank you once again for watching bye bye please subscribe me for more videos bye